please subscribe us we don't want you to be gullible in this situation of nigeria now where there is no money even for the government to upset some things how true is this information information reaching us yesterday that is the information we got i want to read it out to you after their final meeting with Tiobat, supreme and hope project consult by government office held by vice president particular trillions have been allocated to them to share which i don't want to mention for those which don't know how to manage information uag has the greatest share anyway my advice for those expecting millions from Tiobat, please don't even bother yourself with such huge amount supreme can still meet up with her own because from day one she only promised 300k uag may now bag peak to 1 million donor insist it must it must it must not less than 1 million if they can go with 2.5 initially agreed upon that's just what i have from you as at yesterday 7 pm best sunday now let's break this thing down the government are already a problem which means the government don't have money. One, if the government have money, it would have instituted palliative because that's what the government called it to give to those protesters. They will go home. Then, secondly, they said Tiobat Supreme and Hope Project. Now, this thing they are doing now, they are now doing what is called organized crime. You see, Tiobat Supreme and Hope Project. Now, Supreme is a brainchild of Ken Wakama. Then Power of Five is a, all of them are working hand in hand. Now they said the whole project is vice president project. Whole project is the Tunubu's wife is the is the first lady's project and whole project has been placed on hold because there is no money. Hope initiative is a brainchild of first lady and officially it has been placed on hold because there is no money now come to think of it beneficiaries if the if the vp or the 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 president wife or whatever have money to disburse how can they call supreme call uag when the country is already ablaze they will use it to upset the thing and take the glory see the first lady planting vegetable planting ogu Telling women to start planting ugu. If she have trillions of naira, she will use it to upset things and start her own official NGO. So, and point of correction, Hope Project, Hope Initiative is the brainchild of First Lady. And apart from that, the VP does not have, he doesn't handle this kind of project. The only VP that handled this project was Empower, and M and which was under uh, the former vice president, which is El Sobanjo, and it was under the humanitarian affair. Which ministry they would just call these people to the hassle rock without a ministry? And come to the end of this, he now said because they now said the donor insisted. How can government be a donor? So beneficiaries, it pains us that this formation flies around. And I bet you now, this information now, they just wanted to do test run. Once this information is start getting approval, they will now place it that they have to pay money for them to go to Villa, for them to start processing this. And this one becomes a new set of project for them. And it will last for maybe one year, two years. They will now use it to cash out again. So beneficiaries, please discard all these things. When they now get a negative feedback from this message they sent, they will now come and debunk it. That is not true. But if they gave a positive feedback, they will now put a price tag. You pay money. Please, beneficiaries, desist from this. Desist from this. See on the other side. Because this, this thing is really is going around all the platform. It's going viral in all the platform. Please, this is scam.
beneficiaries this is cap 